All right, today on Lita's cooking show, what are we having, baby? Ramen. Ramen? Yeah. And you've been cooking some chicken in the bag all day? Yeah. Do you want a fork or a spoon? What should I have? I don't know. This is personal preference. Probably a fork. So she went in and got some hot water from the uh, coffee machine. Did they charge you for that? No. No? It was free, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's nice of them. It wasn't a coffee machine water. I had to use the fountain water. Oh. And then what? Heat it up in the microwave? Yep. Okay. Did the water smell okay? I didn't smell it. You gotta heat it up. So Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, chicken and ramen. Don't want to pull that off yet, cause I'm gonna. Put I'm just holding it up. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put cheese and. Ooh, cheese. In a... Did that chicken come like that in that tray? No. Oh. This is the tray from the pork. Oh, and you just threw some chicken in there to heat it up in the bag. Yeah, I saved the. Are you putting all the chicken in one? No. Yeah, that's. That's more than half, dude. So? That one's mine, right? Yeah. Stop giving me more chicken than you. I appreciate it. Don't be a... Yeah, but I have more... I think I have more noodles than you. I'm sure I'll be fine with the amount of noodles I have. Well, yours is different. And then we put some cheese in there. Yeah. Put this cheese down. Hope that melts. What's the mayonnaise for? We put mayonnaise in it? Yeah. Just yeah? let it, I put a little bit, yeah. Let that melt? Yeah. And then we come back and put mayonnaise in it? Yeah. Okay. That's what I do with the ramen at home. You're like, it's so good. Really? Is that what you do? Yeah. Okay. Good, but you gave me a spoon. Do you want a fork? It's fine. There's a fork right here. Oh, is there? I just use that right. for the chicken. Well, good morning. It is uh, 7.30 now. We woke up and walked the dogs, and we are uh, about six minutes from this drop now. Um, sounds like we're gonna have to blindside uh, back into his property off the road, because he said there's no room to turn around. So, that's kind of a bummer because I hate blinds in <laughs> uh, Especially if like there's a bunch of traffic. If I'm under a lot of pressure, it seems like it's a lot harder to do, you know? If, like cars are waiting on me and like where was that place that we had to uh, blindside back next to that restaurant? You remember that yeah. with that metal? Yeah. Ah, Lee, and there were cars everywhere. And, I mean, I nailed that because it was like a five lane road that I had room to like maneuver around on. Well, we don't have that I don't know, maybe it'll be all right. Worst case scenario, I go down, turn around, and we shoot back the other way and I can back in on the driver's side. I just don't have good visibility with uh, blind side backing. I should, uh, I should put some cameras back on this thing, maybe. I know you 69 year old truck driver, but I never needed a camera to back my truck in for 400 years. That's great. I'm happy for you. Someone was giving me hell because I was saying I couldn't do this job without you, Peter. Yeah. He's like, I'm 700 years old. I've been tarping by myself for 3,000 years. That's great, man. I'm happy for you. If I had to do it, I could. I, mean, I did it in a hot shop by myself a lot. Like I, Lita would stay home sometimes, and then sometimes she would come. But like, man, with my, the way my back is, and the amount of work that needs to be done sometimes, I would just rather not. I would just rather have some help. You know, it's just nice to have some help. Huh, Mackie? All right. Why is it saying arriving in 15 minutes now? Why did it change? I don't know. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, because now it's like completely taking me to a different spot. This has completely changed. It's still baseline road, isn't it? I, I must have missed my turn. No, it didn't have a turn. No, we were supposed to 
turn on baseline. Okay, well this will bring us in the other way then. Yeah, I was supposed to turn down baseline road. Didn't say anything about turning. Well, shoot. Well, it's probably best that uh, the GPS changed. I don't know if it changed or if I uh, wasn't paying attention. You guys know me. I, I talk and just don't pay attention. Still wasn't a fun back because there's a big ditch over there. I don't know. You guys know me. I like to complain about these spread axles, how hard it is to back sometimes. But I mean, I'm getting it down sometimes and sometimes I'm not. Anyways, we're all unloaded. We're gonna get uh, paid up. We're gonna hit the road. You make that high vis shirt look amazing. Throw the window down for the bad bugs. Oh, wow, I got the air conditioner on. Not doing that much. Really? Why? <laughs> yeah, we get it. We get it. You're in a hurry. It's like, let's go. All right, we are here. I think we're getting that machine right there and a couple other pieces, but I think that's the main thing right there. Uh, ramps on both ends. If we can get there soon enough, they'll all notice today. They're supposed to be at like a, a hotel. So even if I get there late, they might leave the hotel and come unload. But if not, they'll all notice in the morning. So that'd be nice. We'll be sitting empty for the weekend. Pick up again on Monday. Fantastic. Letting the air out of the suspension. It's supposed to only need 40 feet. And I think this is supposed to be like 40,000 pounds, but the broker is saying it's probably only 20,000 pounds. He just does that to keep the hot shots from calling him, he said. How many teams you want me to get down? I don't know. Let's see what we get first before we, you know. The uh, APU did great last night. I don't know if I told you guys that. Keeping the batteries charged, running the AC off of the inverter. I mean, that's super nice, honestly, because before we would hook that thing up to the inverter when we drive down the road. And then at nighttime, I'd have to unplug it and plug it into the APU's cord. 
now we can just shut it off and turn the truck on so maybe we should just get a bigger inverter and just always run it off the batteries I don't know yeah run everything off the truck batteries I don't know that's working out great though I'm, I'm pumped for that this sucks I lost my camera man that's I didn't use it much I plan on using it more kind of hard to learn how to edit with but I I don't know no turning back now oh the uh, hole that that thing put in the deck isn't too bad I mean it just punctured two little spots right there Broker said they only needed 40 feet of deck. And this is what we got. I mean, they shoved stuff in every little nook and cranny they could. I might have messed up. It might have been my problem when they wanted me to move these tarps up into here. I was like, oh, we don't have to move those. We can just start stacking, you know, we can just put stuff up there. I figured whatever they want to put here, just put there. So I don't have to move my tarps. They do this paperwork, right? Yeah, yeah, it's in, it's in the truck. And, uh, Next thing I know, they have us move the tarps anyways, and they fill up every little, every little inch. I mean, there's stuff they tried to stick on here that uh, they end up putting back. They tried to fit everything over here on the truck. All that stuff over there, they were trying to put on here. I could use all this at the house to do our shop floor. That would be nice. Do like I did with Mike's trailer or his uh, tractor and uh, just borrow it, huh? That'd be sweet. All right, they got saws everywhere. They stuck 55 gallon drums under this. Oh, we got a bungee here. 
wild. This box is full of all kinds of weird crap, buckets and rollers and all kinds of weird crap. Well, we're gonna hit the road. Hope they can get this off today. If not, we'll unload it in the morning and uh, we'll go from there. Well, welcome to uh, DeSoto, Kansas. Um, we hit a three-car pileup on the way here. We had to take some side roads. Ended up costing us an hour, but uh, they stayed for us to unload anyway. So, hey, I told them it was no problem. We can drop tomorrow. They're like, nope, come on. Let's get it unloaded. And then we get here, and these guys were like, oh, my God, you guys have so much stuff on this trailer. I was like, yeah, I know. It's a bunch. So that means we don't have to sit here for the weekend. Now we can pick and choose where we stop. May stop along the way where we're going to next. Tonight might not be the uh, the permanent stop, but we'll have to do uh, we'll have to do a 34 or wait till Monday morning. I mean, we should be good to go. Where are we going? Where was where's our next pickup? You know. You sent it to me? Yeah. Gotta move this cable out of the way. So people can see your pretty face. Oh, 
let's see, we are going to... Uh, Junction City, Kansas. Okay, Garmin. Junction City, Kansas. Supposed to be picking up some uh, aluminum ignits. Ignits? Ingots? 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 This says 98 miles. I don't think that's what truck stop said. Um, start new route. Going to Junction City, Kansas. Please Hour and a half. This is now saying 109 miles. Yeah, I don't think that's what truck stop said. <laughs> maybe it did, maybe it, oh, we gotta go back through Topeka. Okay, so we can stop anywhere along 70. I wonder if, uh, okay, Junction City. We drove through Junction City. So we're basically going back through where we just came from. Because we came over 70. Um, yeah, so we could stop along any anywhere along that way. Uh, I don't remember where the Oak Grove is. I know it's on the 70 that we passed. Oak Grove Truck Stop. I feel like they have some stuff around there. Probably not. Let me see where that is. I need a shower. I know that. That is, um... That's before Odessa. I'm gonna get some good food tonight because uh, we busted our butt this week. Dogs did good. I wish I could bring my dogs in and buy them a steak. I bet they wish we could buy them a steak too, huh? I'm disgusted. Well, we gotta we gotta turn around and go back down to 70. I'll have Lee to find us maybe somewhere cool to stop. I mean, tonight doesn't have to be the uh, the forever home for until Monday. It would be cool to find something cool to do. It'd be nice to have a real shower instead of these baby wipe showers. It's tough, man. It's it's tough to push hard and um, get showers all the time. Because I don't like I don't like staying at truck stops, man. They're just disgusting places to stay at. I feel like theft is more, there's more theft at the truck stop. Rest areas usually can just pull right through so I don't have to worry about backing. I don't have to worry about somebody backing into me. Some of them can be tight though and you can get your hood ripped off. But that can happen at a truck stop too. I feel like the bathrooms are cleaner in the rest areas. And usually by the time we stop, if we stopped at a truck stop, the line for the uh, showers would be ridiculously long. Man. That was nice of them to stop. Or to stay. Get us unloaded. I wonder if they're waiting on me. Probably. Yeah, I hope not. Because they got to close this gate up here. Yep. Alright. We'll see you when we stop. Um, it's just right off of 70, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so Junction City, that's where that uh, Walmart is that we like to park, or that there's a trucks, I don't know, there's like a gas station with truck parking right right in front of the Walmart, and then there's that Freddy's that we've eaten at a few times, like right across the street. Yeah. So, I can't remember if there's showers over that way. I have to, I have, to have a shower this week. Go ahead, boss. Go ahead. Pay 
attention. You can drive. Oh my god, you are retarded. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. People are so stupid. Can we get... Yeah, we can get back on 10 West here. Why is it trying to take us down that way? Man, this, this GPS is just retarded. All right, we'll see you in, uh, where are we going? Junction City. Junction City. See you in Junction City.